Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the first two holes at Congressional and how to set yourself up for potential birdies, give yourself the best chance at a birdie. And we'll be playing in moderate winds today. Right, so the first hole is a snaking fairway to the green. Pin is located at the back left of the green. Wind is coming in from the left. So what we want to do is aim at about 300 yards. Your distances will vary based on the clubs that you use. This is something I do very often. I aim outside the rough to allow the ball to drift in the wind back to the fairway and hopefully finish somewhere in the region of 315. So I'm going to aim here at about 310. Let the wind bring the ball back, finish in the middle of the fairway. All right, 310, give the ball a little bit of elevation and hopefully hit the ding. That's in the garden spot. Right, the wind we're hitting, hitting slightly into a headwind, ever so slightly. Hence the distance was 304 yards. Right, we're left with a 87 yard shot to the pin. Playing at about 88 and a half due to the fact the four feet in elevation is going to add about one and a half yards. So 88 and a half plus we're heading into the wind. We're going to hit this at about 91, 92 percent power because of the additional distance that the ball needs to travel due to the side wind. You want to add a few yards for that. I'm going to aim quite far outside the left of the pin. allow the ball to feed from left to right to the pin. Just a hint of backspin, additional backspin and 92% power. Slightly early on the ding but nonetheless it's a decent shot and that will be an easy birdie. I would like to do the shot again just aiming outside left and I would like to try and hit the ding this time or get closer to the ding 92% power alright I was early again it's a very similar result easy birdie alright let's give it another shot Much closer to the ding that time and this should be closer to the hole as well. In fact, well, can't ask for much better than that. Would have been nice if it dropped for an eagle. Right, let's move forward to the next hole. Right, this hole is playing 198 plus about six yards, maybe six and a half yards. We're looking at about 204, 205. What I'm going to do is take a five iron rated at 195. Just add a hint of backspin to get the ball to stop a little quicker. Aim outside the right edge due to the fact that this green actually slopes from right to left. Ball likely land over here and roll up towards the flag. At least that's the plan. The wind is also coming in from the right to the left. So it definitely is going to make the ball drift right to left. Right, 195. 
hit the ding and immediately we have a heartbeat. Get in. Not as close as I'd like. This is a very difficult green. Um, despite putting the pin positions in easy, this is not the easiest of pin positions. Nonetheless, we'll give it a shot, give it a putt, see how if we can get it close. No guarantee. What we want to do here is aim well outside the left of the cup, allow the ball to feed down the slope and hopefully into the hole. We can always do a mulligan if we don't get this in. Just missed that one. Alright, take a mulligan. We can do the same thing again. We're going to aim just a bit more outside left. Give the ball a little bit more power. Allow it to roll down towards the hole. And that should go in. That's in. So there you have it. Two holes on Congressional. Uh, two very easy birdies. If you follow what I've done, if you follow the tips and tricks that I've given you, you should not have a hard time making such easy birdies and go on to become a more competitive player. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.